My name is Paul Sun Hyung Lee and I am an actor. Wow, YPT was instrumental in building my career, I have to say, because fresh out of theater school, YPT was one of the only places that would hire me. Uh, because of the color of my skin, it was rather difficult for me to get jobs outside of really sort of stereotypical caricature-like characters, especially in film and TV. Uh, and so YPT was sort of my gateway in, into the world of professional acting. And uh, I love YPT. This is a touchstone for me. My kids have gone to YPT uh, summer camps. Um, they love this building too. And it, it really is a generational place. Like it's, it's not only just this building itself, but like the staff and, and the, uh, the philosophy behind young people's theater is something that I think is, is timeless. I'm friends with almost everybody that I've made contact with through this building here. One of the funniest, funnest times I've ever had was here sharing a, a dressing room with Herbie Barnes, who is now the artistic director of YPT, and I'm so proud of him and so happy for him. But we shared a dressing room just, just across from the bathroom while we were doing The Hobbit. We found macaroni salad that he had brought into the dressing room here that was like two and a half weeks old. And it was moldy and it was just during that run of that show, everybody in the cast caught uh, a cold or, or an illness except for Herbie and I. And I like to think it's because it was so dirty in our dressing room, we built up an, a natural immunity to anything else. It, all these germs came to our room to die. And so there's that. But um, yeah, yeah, I can't just pick one specific memory that they're just they're all so good children of all different types came in and they got to see themselves reflected on on the stages as well and that was really important that was something that really sort of connected with me too because seeing a bunch of asian kids in the audience for example and seeing the reaction to seeing uh asian leads like marjorie chan and diana cho playing the prince and the pauper that's moving that's a powerful experience um and that's something that i really really do love about theater for young audiences is that the diversity in the audience, seeing these kids and laying that foundation of, of laying the seeds of those, the, their imagination and when they see themselves reflected or see the version of themselves on the stage, um, it's, it's a powerful moment. It's, it's a great thing for them to see. And uh, you know, that and representation, I mean, as, as hackneyed as it might sound, representation does matter. It makes a huge difference. And, um, you know, YPT has always been a cornerstone for me and for my children in terms of reflecting that. So, yeah, no, it's, I can't say enough.